Hey there. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. Today I am doing <laughs> um, a Makuma, Makumagani video. Um, I am not good at Makumagani. I'm going to preface that right off the top. Um, but I've been playing around with it lately. The technique I'm doing is not new at all. Um, but it's just my take on it. Um, and like I said, I am not very good at this. So we're just going to wing it. Sometimes it ends up looking okay, but uh, I don't get my blade through all gracefully like so many people do. I look at them with awe because mine just doesn't do that. Sometimes it ends up just a complete mess, but I'm going to show you anyway. So I have, um, this is translucent and it is rolled out on a two. <clears throat> That's the strip here. Obviously I'm going to use my handy dandy um, alcohol inks. So I'm gonna go ahead and start painting. I'm gonna do stripes this way, how I do. And hopefully this turns out okay. It is Tuesday, so the lawn guys are out there. Hopefully you guys can't hear all that nonsense. Uh, that was dark purple. This is lemon yellow. I'm just kind of willy-nilly across here. That does not look like lemon yellow. That's a little better. And as usual, I don't mind if it bleeds. This is sky blue. I'm going to make these a little bit wider because I have this whole sheet to cover. And then fuchsia. Back to purple. Actually, I'm going to do yellow. This is a funky yellow. It is not lemon yellow for sure. But that's okay. Now purple. That got a little too messy, so I'm staying away a little bit farther here. And blue. And then I'm going to do yellow again because I want a little bit of a green. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So I'm gonna let this dry. And then I have, <clears throat> excuse me, I have white rolled out here. Um, the white is rolled out onto a three. And we are going to do a jelly roll. I think that's what that's called. I'm pretty sure it's what it's called. I feel like I've seen that before, but I say it a lot. <clears throat> I think you guys know what I mean when I say that. This looks kind of cute over here. Looks like flowers and stems. So I'm going to let this dry. Actually, it's pretty much almost there. I'm going to go ahead and do it now. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to... I already know that this is not quite enough to cover, but let's stretch it out a little bit. Um, I'm going to place this on top. Take this 
off. Cut off the little excess ends here. I'm not gonna worry that it's not quite big enough on the sides here, it's fine. Let's cut that off. And just kind of roll that on there a little bit, get it stuck along with whatever that was. That was not very successful. Oh well. Um, I am using Kato Translucent <clears throat> today. That's what that was. Previously, I had been using Sculpey Primo, but I just got a whole bunch of this um, Kato Translucent, so I'm using that. So I'm not going to run it through the pasta machine. I'm just going to go ahead and roll it, and at this time, as opposed to the previous couple of videos I've done, where I've rolled it with the white on the inside, I'm doing with the white on the outside. So I'm gonna roll this up. And then I'm going to flatten. pretty good now I'm gonna cut it in half that's how it looks inside and I'm gonna flatten some more get it down to about I don't know it's about eight centimeters I guess maybe I don't, I'll show you in just a minute but I'm gonna smush that down pretty good That's about how thick it is. And you can see all the different colors inside there too, hopefully. So. It's a little humid today, so there's issues. Which also kind of affects the, when I put my little tissue blade through here. So, um, and I think the alcohol ink makes it stink, stink, stick. So there's all kinds of things going on. So I'm just going to take a couple little things to plunge in here. I've got... To be more prepared is what I've got. Okay. Um, I've got a heart and i got a flower. So I'm just going to start. And I go pretty much all the way down with these. Flower. And then I'm just going to poke some holes.
do them in the middle of the flowers. And just all the way around. And then I take my little square acrylic and I just kind of make it a square, kind of squish everything together as it is stuck. It kind of helps you want it to be stuck on your tile or your work surface, whatever you're using. And then just kind of flatten a little bit on the top too. So it's kind of level. So now's where the comedy ensues. I'm gonna go ahead and just start scraping off. I realized that I didn't, I'm gonna roll out, um, well, I'll do that in a minute. Um, so I tend to saw when I'm doing this, and you want to go obviously as shallow as possible. And so you get your little patterns. That one wasn't very good. Um, so just saw, saw, saw. Like I said, it is humid here, so this is pretty sticky. That one's pretty usable. But just keep sawing um, and re revealing the different layers, but you can see all the different colors that are in there from the alcohol ink. That's a good one. That one's good. I like doing Makumagane, but I'm just really bad at it. <laughs> like I said, I watch other people do it and they're so good, so. That's a pretty one, I like that. Look at all the colors in there. You can use either side. I'm gonna keep that face up because I like that side. Oops. Make sure you use the right side of your blade. <laughs> I'm liking the, the pastel colors. This one's really pretty. I mean, they're all pastel, but some of them are a little brighter. And then it gets to a point where, like right now, it's a little bit wavy. Um, so I'm just going to kind of level it up again. Smush it back together. Because it just gives you a good base to work at again. Like I said, I'm, I'm bad at this. So <laughs> anytime I can have a new... A new perspective of it is good so just kind of flatten it back out again and then just go back to go back to slicing I tend to tear up my sheets anyway I think I like the top of this one um, into pieces when I place them on my base so I don't mind getting smaller smaller pieces I like that one That one's good. I'm just gonna do one more. I'm 
<laughs> looks like Lisa Frank with the colors and the shapes. I feel like I'm, I should be covering a notebook or something. Okay, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave that as that. And excuse me one moment, I'm gonna pause it while I roll out, um, I'm gonna roll out my base slab uh, of my Kato translucent, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I just made a, a base slab of the Kato translucent. I rolled it out onto a two. Um, so now I'm just going to take these pieces and start placing them. Uh, this looks like a good edge piece. Hmm. And then just kind of place them anywhere. I, I, a piece like this I will break up. Just kind of tear it. Um, I do like to have open spaces of the transparent showing because that gives a cool effect in the end so I will leave open areas <clears throat> excuse me so just place your pieces around like so be really careful because they are flimsy if you were able to get them thin enough <laughs> of course mine are all over the place with their with how thick or thin they are i'm going to take this final little thing because there's some pretty blues and greens in there and I will slap that right in here. Well, slap that there and slap this here. So there we go. So there's my slab. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm gonna roll this a little bit flat and then I am gonna run it through on a, mm, I'm gonna run it through on a one but if it doesn't take on the one, I will run it through on the two. Um, I don't want to distort it too much, but I do want it. Um, I do want it on there, so let's, I'm going to try a one first. Okay, that's good. So the one was good. So you go a little bit higher than your original two. Um, so that it just gets some nice sun on there. So I'm going to cut out some shapes. I'm going to do, oh, I got new cutters. I need to open these before this, sorry. I got some new cutters, some earring cutters. So I'm going to do this shape, a couple earrings of this. Because I think that'll be pretty. And I just took them out of the package, so it will be a mystery to all of us as to how these turn out. I'm going to do right here. And then. Um, I'm just going to do a couple of squares. I like this area. And mm, I like that. Ooh, that just fits. Okay. So I'm gonna just do those for now. 
for the sake of the video. Put this over here. I'll definitely use that later in some form or fashion. Um, I'll get these off, show you how they look. Let's see how these cutters are. These cutters are pretty good. A little cleanup needed. But they will definitely work well. So there's going to be one earring. So I'm going to get these up and cleaned up. And then I'm going to go ahead and bake them. Um, <clears throat> and I will... I'll come back. Um, I think I'm just going to buff them with the buffer, so I will do that on camera after they bake. So I will be back. Hey there, I'm back. Um, so I went ahead and put resin on these little pieces. There's a weird noise out there. And I don't know if you can see the depth of these, but they're super cool because of the translucent, so there's just looks like there's a bunch of layers in there. Um, I haven't done anything with these yet, um, but that's how they look when they come right out of the oven. Super bright colors and just, uh, they're so dreamy. So I'm gonna go ahead and, um, and buff these so I can show you how it looks just to just to run the buffer over it real quick how it makes them really crisp and then you can also see the layers and I think I'm actually gonna leave these not resined um, because I kind of like how they look So, you can see the difference between the matte. This has a little shine on it now, plus the colors are more crisp, and you can see the depth um, into the layers with the translucent. Do the other one here. Remember to go in circles when you're doing these because you don't want big grooves um, in your final piece. And you will be able to see them. So this just makes it nice to go in circles like this. So there's that. That's how that looks. So I'm glad it was successful on camera because usually I'm not quite as successful, but these came out really nice. So give it a try. Hope you enjoy. Um, tomorrow's video will be using uh, Trace Clay Spray. So um, I have a really cool thing that I came up with with uh, some gold and silver so make sure you check it out subscribe if you like my videos leave some comments press that like button um, and have a great day see ya bye